Hey guys, Bart with Bicycle Rider YouTube. And today we've got a really cool e-bike that we're gonna review. Uh, a few years ago we, we uh, did a Ride One Up 500 series, and this is about 2019. Uh, it was an e-bike that we, we bought and um, it's still in the neighborhood. Actually our friend Dave owns it now and he still rides it around quite a bit. So that bike has, has done us good over the years. But uh, we went ahead and got the new 2021 Ride One Up 700 series, and this is a 700 series with a, with a step through on it. So uh, they've changed a little bit between the 500 uh, series and now the, the brand new 700 series, and uh, they still seem like a very solid e-bike. Actually, it, uh, it's, it's a very solid e-bike. Now this is just gonna be a quick video. We're gonna do a deep dive. This is uh, one of our personal bikes, so we're gonna be doing um, you know, quite a bit of a, a long-term test on this. Um, but just initially, uh, we'd like to say that the, the bike did come very well packed. Uh, the first one we got in 2019, the box was pretty torn up. Um, that's probably not the fault of, of Ride One Up, that's just you know, what happens in shipping sometimes. But uh, it seems like they've refined their techniques quite a bit, so the, the bike did come very well packed. And uh, Gary himself put this bike together. He said he took him a you know, good three hours. Um, there was no damage to the bike, but it did need several adjustments on it. And uh, you know, Gary's not a professional bicycle mechanic. He's a pretty good home mechanic on a bike. And it did take him some, some finagling to make sure that the derailleur worked correctly and the brakes were lined up and everything. So you know, with a, with a bike with this many moving parts, that's expected, but uh, you know, don't think you're gonna get this out of the box and have it together in 45 minutes unless you're uh, some type of professional. But all in all, it's a very solid bike. Um, Gary is very impressed with, uh, with the new style fender and rack system that they have on it. Um, Gary was mentioning that the, the rack actually has a bolt into the back light here and it keeps the, the back fender from, from rattling around. It's a, it's a metal fender and it does seem, seem very sturdy. So if you needed to you know, put something on here and I think we've got the, the optional ride one up paneers that we'll be putting to the test. Um, we're down here, uh, Gulf Coast, Mississippi. So we do a lot of riding on the beach sidewalk down here. It's, a, it's an unimproved beach sidewalk. So it's quite rough. It's quite sandy at times. And it, you know, it beats bicycles up. So we are gonna put this bike to the test. Um, you might notice that Gary left the front fender off on, on this bike here. And we, you know, we put our bikes on the bike rack quite a bit. And this makes it so much easier for, you know, we use a Kuwat bike rack. So if you have a wheel on, we can leave your wheel on and it's a wheel hook bike rack. It just makes it a little bit more sturdy without the fender. I kind of like the naked look on it. And the frame is actually wide enough that, uh, you know, if you're riding this in some damp conditions, you know, the frame blocks a lot of the water from spraying up on you. And we've just noticed that on, on the first initial test rides. Um, speaking of test ride, I have to say this bike felt good but it was a, a bit faster than, um, than I remember the 500 series. And, and you know, Gary has gone into the new controller here and it's a, it's, a, it's a colored controller so the screen is quite a bit upgraded from the 500. I seem to like the screen a lot. But Gary was pretty proficient about getting in there into the settings. He might have changed the setting that said speed on it. Um, and for some reason, this bike is quite a bit faster than the, uh, than the speed that it's, it's advertised for. But I think it's because we might have done something accidentally here on the computer that wasn't very hard to do. But um, the, the bike did, did get quite a bit faster than 20 miles an hour for us. So that was a pleasant surprise, but just be careful if you do that on your own. Uh, yeah, and then that was just with the throttle. So, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty impressive. Um, you know, I, I'm a lifetime cyclist and I've spent a lifetime to go 20 plus miles an hour on a bicycle. So, you know, if you can hit a, a one button and do 20 something miles an hour on a, on a, on a bike, just, just be cautious because, you know, those speeds are a little deceiving. Um, one really nice thing I noticed about this bike was, was the braking. And I, I think the Ride One Up uh, 500 series had a, a cable operated disc brake that worked well and it is still working well. I don't think Dave's ever brought it to the bike shop to have new brake pads put in it. And we've done gravel, we've done a lot of things on that bike. Um, this bike now has a Tektro um, hydraulic disc brakes and they did seem very smooth and you know I went by Gary at, at high speed 
and uh, decided to do a quick stop and the bike this bike stopped very well so there there's a lot about this bike that we're going to go over um right away i am noticing a, a change uh, i don't know what brand front fork this is but it seems like a you know a nice smooth front fork it's very stable and attract really good um you know I, I am a mountain bike racer so i do you know really notice a front fork and how it tracks and this seems like a nice beefy fork we will put it to the test so uh, just on, on a short-term test the tires were nice and beefy of course it's a a, a 650b tire with what is it gary a 2.5 or 2.6 uh, whatever the width is on this tire okay it's a 27 2.4 but it's a nice big sturdy tire with a round profile so you know it seemed very efficient going down the road but with that much air pressure uh, that you could play with i think you can make this bike comfortable in in multiple situations so so uh you know here on the bicycle rider youtube if you do like our content please you know hit like and subscribe and just know we are going to be putting this bike through a, a long-term test um, I own a bicycle shop. We do not sell Ride One Up at the bicycle shop. So we bought this on our own. We do have an affiliate link with Ride One Up. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in the brand, please click our link and give us a little credit for, you know, purchasing stuff like this so we could test out for you guys. Uh, we are going to be selling a brand, another brand of e-bike um, other than specialized in my bicycle shop. And we've got those coming in now. So we hope to do some, you know, head-to-head -head tests on on a couple of these e-bikes and uh I've, I've noticed running a bicycle shop how how e-bikes have become a lot more popular you know i think it helps people get on the road there's so many benefits to e-bikes i think they're they're great so uh just know the ride one up so far the the new 2021 um 700 series seems like a very solid bike in the first couple rides it, it has impressed me but we're going to take it in the long term test and we'll go into another video here and do a deep dive on the different component specs um the adjustable neck is nice we didn't get that on the 500 series so there there are several um several advantages i see to this over the other one but just just know that the uh, initial tests quick video seems like a solid bike but we're going to do more so please stay tuned if you'd like to get a little bit more information on this bike and see it in actual use bicycle rider youtube thank you